Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. This video has been prompted by a subscriber who wants to know how to update OpenTX to EdgeTX. Now I'm going to be using the Zuro to do this, uh, but it will be the same for any radio. Now, the way I'm doing this, it will not back up your models. So um, you would need to, to reprogram your radio with the models, but I actually like doing that. So it, in, my, in my case, I don't really mind doing that. But let me show you how to do, do this so you can update the firmware. Let's switch over to the computer. I'm going to leave all the links in the description below for you. So I'm in the HTX Buddy website. So we're going to get to the latest version, which is 2.10.4. I'm going to select my radio, which is going to be the Zorro. And I'm going to normally we would do this by uh, flashing it via the uh, the USB and plugging the radio in, but we're not going to do that this time because we're we're, we're changing the software from OpenTX to HTX. So we're going to download that bin file, and you can see I've already done that. Let's just say so I can show you how it's done. I'm just going to replace it, and there we go. We've now got the the firmware. It should be in our drive. Let's have a look. Let's go here. And if we go to firmware, you can see there it is. There's the version. Now let's go back to here. Now we need to get the SD card contents. Now what you have to do is get a, a clean SD card and um, format it, which let's just check that I've actually already done that. Yep, you can see there it is. I've cleaned that, uh, formatted that card. Then we're going to click on SD card contents. So now we're just going to select SD card and it already has you see I know it says ender but that's the card select folder okay are you sure this is the card you gotta make sure you're putting it onto the right place and this one is so we're going to continue and now we select the version that we want so the SD card contents are at the moment are, are at 2.103 but that's fine it will obviously work with the later versions now we're going to pick our radio which you must make sure you get that right it's the, in my case, the Radio Master Zero. I'm then going to pick the language I want, which is English, and I'm going to apply changes. And there you go. It will start downloading the contents onto the SD card. Now, this takes some time, um, so I will speed this up so you don't have to sit here for a lot, you know, in front of your computer waiting for this to finish. As I said, this takes some time. What I'd like to say is to make sure you back up your OpenTX files and your models just in case you want to revert back to it. And there we go. Right now, if we go to the SD card, you can see we've got our contents there. But what we need to do is to go into the firmware file. You see, there's no firmware. So we need to go to where I downloaded the bin file. And then I'm going to copy that, go back into here and place it in there. And there we go go now we're ready we have to take the SD card out of our computer and put it into the radio so I'm going to switch over to the overhead camera so that I can show you how to do this okay now we need to turn our radio on that's going to be a bit difficult because I've got to get into these two trims push the two trim tabs in push the power on and now you'll see it says right firmware so we are going to click right firmware there's the um, right file that we need and we're going to push enter to start. So just long press. Now we can push enter and we can exit. Now, whoopsie daisy. We may get an error. Don't worry about that. Click. And now we've got to calibrate. So we're going to calibrate the, the sticks. So push enter to start and then it says set. Access midpoint, so make sure that the gimbal's in the middle, and also the little sliders here. Um, they don't really have an indent, so let's approximately put them in the in the middle. There we go, and then say done, and then we're going to move the pots around the gimbals, and then push enter. 
Now we should be good there. So what we need to do, if we go to system and we go across, we can see what software we've got. If we go to to a version and you can see, there it is, two point at the top, 2.10.4. Now, there is one more thing we need to do. We come out of here. If we hit the system button and then we go across in the card, we're going to go to firmware and then we need to go down to the file again, the bin file, hold in the enter button. Now you see it says flash bootloader. So we're going to click there and that now has updated the bootloader. So we now shouldn't get an error when we turn our radio on and off. Let's do this and see what happens. Should be good. Welcome to HTX. And there we go. Let's um, boot up the radio again just to show you. It was on OpenTX and so if we... Welcome to HTX. There we go. We've updated our radio. To, um, from OpenTX to EdgeTX. Now you will need to put your models onto the ra radio again um, because they, they will be gone because of the SD card. And because there's a, there's a as, as far as I understand, between OpenTX and EdgeTX, there's a slight, slightly different structure the way that it stores the your models. So you can't li just literally use the same SD card contents. Well, I do hope the subscriber who asked me to show them how to do that is happy with that. And uh, if you've got any further questions, let me know and I will try and assist you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.